Right guys, so welcome to another Caprani Plumbing and Heating YouTube video. Today's episode is going to be something a little bit different. We've currently just got the TV installed in the meeting room at our HQ. Uh, but Jessica with me today, she's going to give a quick insight what you can expect. A lot of your viewers have been leaving comments on our YouTube studio, which is much appreciated. It grows the page and much appreciated for that. Uh, you've been asking for certain things, understanding how the office side works. So like I just said earlier, I'm going to hand you over to Jessica. She's going to give a quick insight what to expect. Hi guys, I'm Jessica. Finally nice to meet you all. Today's video is going to be a little insight on how we use softwares to help us run the business on a day-to-day -day basis. We're predominantly focusing on the back end, which is the office, and how that pushes the front end to deliver the, uh, the end products to the client. The office can then continue with the, the Caprana journey throughout. This consists of invoicing all the way through to customer care. The systems we use help us to be lean in production. Right, so thank you for that, Jessica. Obviously, it was uh, maybe on your first attempt, wasn't it? You've been in a few videos, but that was a bit of a POV action shot there, so I think you handled that really well. If you think you did, leave a comment. So, our first system we come to is a software system called Job Logic. And what this system does here, you can see it gives us a full overview of our business. So, we're going to run through the few bits, like we've got our dashboard here, uh, and then our Caprine Plumbing Heat logo there. So, again, I stipulate and I'll say it again brand everything. So, with this, what you can see is what this system does for us. So, as I wrote you our dashboard, Customers, sites, assets, jobs, quotes, invoices, PPMs, pet trawlers, da da da, anything. We can see an up to date of wherever this, well, basically wherever our business is. So if we look up here, we've got outstanding jobs now, 96 jobs are outstanding. But I'm going to just let Jessica quickly, obviously, what we'll see here, because we're just focusing here on the TV, what the outstanding means. Outstanding can mean anything from jobs requiring additional um, works to be complete. So for instance, like a part, wait on a part. It also could mean that. Because we book our um, schedule out three to four weeks in advance, some even a little bit further, depending on um, the job. So that means that women being outstanding, that doesn't mean that we haven't completed them or due to complete or left them behind. It's just that they're outstanding for the reason that they haven't been completed down to the invoicing stage. Correct. So we've got 96 jobs outstanding. So again, a lot of them are going to be basically jobs that have been booked and due to done. So come to the second bit here, jobs that require invoicing. So the reason being that this system works so good for us is the call will be made to the Caprana Plumbing and Heating at landline number 762 with the no in front of it. The call will be made, whoever's in the office, you Dale, will take the call, they'll take all the customer details, add them to our system, so the customer portal. The job will then be booked in, assigned to an engineer. The engineer will then carry out the works. Once the works have been carried out, then it's basically down to the office to raise the invoice. So Dion does the invoices, don't you, Jessica? Yeah. Dion has the invoices. So she can see here, if the system's been done properly by Dale and the engineers on the forefront, she will see here there's four jobs that require invoices. She can just click on them literally and then raise the invoice. You know, contact the engineers is very minimalistic. And the reason being is, we stipulate that all engineers, including myself, have to put as much information on the notes on the job complete. When we click in the job, it logs the time we was there and the time we left site, so then the customer, if we wanted to, can see a full description of what's as well. So we've got here invoice 684, invoice to date, total job to date, 2,849. Now, the reason being for this, if we just scroll down a bit, please, Alice. You'll see our graph here, our demographic, our demographic, what you want to call it here. The reason being, we've had this system for a couple of years now, but we had a new manager come in then, July 2021, so the system was just getting back into swing again. At this point here, this is from 2020 when we used the system, there was a lot of jobs on the system that wasn't doing anything, not being complete, it was just lack of experience and education, I suppose, more yeah, than anything. Yeah, huge error, basically. Yeah, huge error. So we've got a lot of things wiped off because we can't wipe the system clean. So if we do, it wipes everything off. So we just got everything up to date. Then there's a big influx there, then back to normal. But you can see here, on average with engineers, what is going on, like I say. Up here as well, we're still learning from the management system. So we can see what type of job types we carry out at Caprina Plumbing and Heating. So predominantly here, it's saying a lot of service, maintenance, insertion, quote, site surveys. So again, this is just down to uh, our error, but we are starting to, while these are picking up now, the system's being used more. We used to book every job in as a service, but now Jessica's worked out how, obviously... Yeah, how we can... Um, what's... Jobs can be altered, so we can basically uh, acquire, uh, assign a job to either a service. A yeah, yeah, if it's a quote or if it's something like that. So, and it works really well, because what happens is, 
is on the system. If any of office staff look at it, we can see if it's a gas job, we can send it to me or look. Uh, if it's a plumbing job, it can be sent to Matty or George. You know, that's how it works. It just making it bigger. We're trying to create this. So even though we're small outfit now, there's seven of us. If we, well, when we do, not if, when, we look at the engineer, which we're looking at this year. It, it, set the system right at the start. It'll follow through nicely at the end, like I say. So that's pretty much our job management software system. Again, we've got our engineers, so we can see what engineers are doing, everything, form, logbook. It does all our certification down to gas sets, commercial gas sets, you know, uh, Anything worn notes, anything so to us, it's a great system. Now, it is £30 per user, so it is £210 a month we pay for this management software. But again, it's each one. We just found this software works well for compliance and heat limited. So, I'm gonna let Jessica just literally give a quick insight into what our next system is. Now, it's something I'll be honest with you, I did not want to implement. Be coming from coming from an engineer background myself, I'm still an engineer, obviously, made direct to the business, but. I'm still heavily involved in the tools. I didn't agree with it, but Jessica's going to give a quick insight of what is coming up next. So you can get it brought up now, okay, yeah, and what we're using. So this system is RAM tracking. Um, we have two programs that we use on it, which is um, RAM tracking and RAM assist. But the RAM tracking is basically to follow the engineers on their day to day when they're at work. We can monitor where they are, at, uh, where they are in at a specific time of the day, if a customer rings up with my engineer, they're running late, we can then say, right, they're caught up in traffic or they've gone to the hill sellers before they've gone to a job. It keeps them, us in check, it lets the customer know on their journey that the customer's running behind for X reason. Um, it's more a fail safe, isn't it? At the end of the day, we use this system, one, to protect our business and two, protect our employees. And the reason being why I say this, if for whatever reason the job logic management system fails, we have a backup. So if a client was to have a dispute an invoice or something like that, or say, where is engineer? We couldn't contact an engineer for safety purposes of, we can see where they are. Now, as a business, we do let our staff use their vans outside of work. They pay a small a small fee to get charged mileage, but it's up to them for the use the van. I think it's still a massive benefit to let them use the vans outside of work. One of the one things that I do like about the system and what it's holding in today's day and age is, people being held accountable for things happening. So what I mean by that is, God forbid if something was ever to happen in the van because one lad had a ball tire or something, do you know, we do everything we can to state that if something's an issue, we will basically sort that out. So Jessica's gonna give you a quick insight to what I'm on about with that. So every morning you need to do a... A checklist. So I do a checklist to check that the van is safe to drive. And um, they have to do a quick track list before they drive the vehicle down to brakes. Um, and it damages the vehicle. It then flags up on that once they've completed it, we get an email that flags up on this system. We can then say, for instance, if the tyres were in bald or the indicates that working on brakes. That working, we can then book it in with the garage to get the works complete. Um, it helps us, that communication, it helps us identify who's a problem rather than just barely we've got that paper back up to say, yep, yeah, we've got that in place, we'll get it fixed for you as soon as possible. It's not, again, it's not us trying to pass the blame in the book, but as the business grows, these things can happen. You know, we like to look after our staff, and to me, this is looking after our team. If they've got a bald tyre, you know, we're enforcing that every single day they should be checking things on the van. So God forbid if something happens, it shouldn't be happening because they're being forced to check the van is okay, everything's working fine. Then that tells us they're safe and the business is safe, basically. I'd never want them to feel like it was in a position where they're like, oh, well, you won't put a tyre on the van. It's like, look, this checklist that you'll give us tells us what's up, we can get it sorted. But again, we still have a close-knit business to still always pick up the phone and let us know. But again, it's about protecting the business and protecting our employees. So it's a it's it's a good system. You can see Matt here has picked up when he's done one of his job logs here. Uh, he's got the back right reg plate the light has come off. So I'd seen that a while ago when I was on site Matt and said that needs sorting. He's picked up on here. He's obviously enforced the office staff to get that sorted, which they've been ordered now. Have they been put on yet, obviously? Yeah. They're here to put on. So Matty obviously has okay. been off for the past couple of days, and yeah. but when he's back in, that can go back on, like I say. But it just keeps, obviously, day-to-day -day check on the vans, van mileage and usage and stuff. Now, you can see our vans have got high mileage. We've just put a lot of uh, money back into them getting repaired and stuff. But again, uh, it, it just logs everything done and keeps on top of all our vehicles in the business, the four vehicles that we have in the business. Yeah, this, it also helps us, for instance, like, uh, remind us uh, MOT, when the MOTs are due, when the MOT. Is, <laughs> MOT is due, when the tax is due, when the insurance is due, that helps us prompt us to remember. There are a lot of things to remember. As you know, your own vehicle at home, private use, that's a nightmare to keep on. Of course it is, and the thing so is with this... When you've got four additional vehicles, yep. 
it, we couldn't get easy to get out of hand. So. And as the business grows, it is horrendous. So Jessica's obviously set up here, tax man of seven days before, man fed is for the MOT and 14 days again. So the reason being we set up these dates, the MOT, we do it 30 days before. The reason being for that, it's crucial that the vans get sorted. So we like to make sure we don't leave it till the last minute. We like to be prepared so we get in earlier than it's due. So there's plenty of time to get that repaired and back on the road. Also as well, do you know, everyone's in for a bargain. We stick to using the same garage, but if we feel like being overcharged, that gives us time then again to move it to another garage so it can still be on the road. The tax man is only seven days. And the reason being behind that is the office can do that in a matter of minutes. Same with insurance policy. We give ourselves 14 days so we can again shop around for that. But these are the systems we use in our business and i feel like obviously if you want to grow your business these type of things you need to implement yourselves reason being you can have it full it's not necessarily about control but it's about understanding your business and that's one of the big things i want to point out in this video do you know jessica just recently started taking up on the profit and loss haven't you so we need to always have an understanding where the business is going at the end of the day because a few bad decisions can detrimentally affect the business and potentially in a, uh, where circumstances shut your business down. So things like this may cost a bit of money, but we always invest in the business, don't we? Yeah. Thank guys. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was enough information for you. If you do need any more information, I'm sure we can go a little bit deeper if need be. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>